Whoa, there we go. The Eternals trailer finally dropped. Surprise, surprise, we've got something new to look at. We don't have to look at the Black Widow trailer for the 17th time anymore. I've completely skipped it. I have no clue what's going on in it other than the fact that uh, Jody is in it. I don't even remember her name. I'm that bad at remembering this Jody person. But there, you know, she's in it. Let's give it a watch. Oh, and it's immediately a DMCA-able track. Love it. I'll give you my own rendition. I'll make it quiet. You know the music. Why? Oh! Okay, it's a it's a demonic version of the song. Why did the sea go to rush to shore? I don't know the lyrics. Oh God! Don't they know it's the end of the world? This is a cool outro. I gotta admit. Oh, they skipped ahead in the song. You can't tell because I've made it so quiet, but here we go. What are we listening for? <laughs> Sorry, the things i got to do for DMCA's. Ooh! I'm getting uh, Wonder Woman vibes, in all honesty. Which, you know, fair enough. With a hint of green Doctor Strange. He already is green. Unguided. This is only going to be a teaser. I'm not going to be able to tell much from it, but I'm intrigued. So is this in the past? I think it is, yeah. It's like ancient history, isn't it? They've been here this whole time. That's very Doctor Strange-esque. They never interfered. You can, you're telling me they skipped Thanos? They didn't think that was important enough? Come on, that's pretty rude of them. It's the end of the world. That's so interesting, all the different time zones. I realise I really should have skimmed through that. Oh well, we'll make it work. <gasps> I should have... I forgot he's in it! Hello Kit Harrington, how you doing? Why am I acting like I'm talking to him? I just like that he's here. Oh well. Uh, good Goodbye! I gotta mute it for everyone else. There we go. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that put me through a loop. I really thought this was a space adventure. Does this title card not look spacey to you? So now that Captain Rogers and Iron Man are both gone, who do you think's gonna lead the Avengers? I could lead them. Hmm. <laughs> that's gonna go great. <laughs> and that's the point. Yeah, fair enough. Like, how is this not a spacey story? How are they in ancient Earth this whole... I mean, actually, they've got aliens. But even then, they don't. This is, I guess, before they get powers? And they were just like... Well, I don't know the history of Eternals, but you know what? I'm intrigued. It feels like it is the Wonder Woman of the MCU, where they've got the whole Amazonian tribe on the side doing their own thing, more technologically advanced, like kind of Wakanda, but this is more magic-based, you know? Uh, like, this looks cool. So that's... Okay. I was gonna say, I remember this shot from the teaser with Speed Demon over here. Again, we saw her reading earlier. Fair enough. They're just gonna show them what, what were they doing this whole time? Where they were... Yeah. So, like... Old olden times, or their own hometown, and then they end up in London. This is basically the end of the first Captain America movie. All right, I'm on board. When does this come out? Because uh, like, this doesn't even feel at the moment. I can see the MCU vibes. Obviously, it's so detached. It just feels like its own separate Wonder Woman kind of film, just off to the. Even though Wonder Woman's very much integrated in the DC universe, but this just feels like we're never going to see anyone in New York. But I mean, they clearly go to New York. I'm intrigued though to see a new corner of the MCU. That's pretty nice. I like that. November, they say. All right, I can get behind that. Yeah. What are people's thoughts on Eternals? Like, uh, I really, I have no major thoughts on it because I, know, I just know nothing about it. I'm just like coming in with completely new eyes. It looks interesting enough. It's not invested me because at the moment it's just people standing around being like, hey, we're going to be the Eternals. Is that even what they call themselves or is that, I would hope so. It's like Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sure, give me a year, I'm going to be like super into Eternals. Although I actually, I wasn't into Guardians of the Galaxy when it first came out, the first one. I was like, this, uh, the comedy didn't tickle me as much as it did everyone else. I didn't like the style as much. But now I really love it. I really like the second one and how colourful it was, you know? Like, looking at this, this is not colourful. But like, actually, even there, there's a little bit of colour. Yeah, like, uh, hmm. Hmm. Actually, like, it still looks kind of muted. 
I guess because it's just so separate. Obviously, space has all the color it wants in the Guardians universe. Hmm. That's a real negative point I've suddenly made. Alright. Yeah, I'm curious to see where it goes. You know, I know nothing, nothing about this, so... I'm sure it's got full potential because I know nothing, you know? That's just how it goes. I don't know. Thanos is too far in the future. Okay. So do they not interact with our MCU timeline? Like they said, we haven't in interfered until now. So are they doing something entirely in the past? And then do they again get an outro that puts them in modern day? Because there was a shot of her in modern day. You know, like there's got to be a connection. It's not like they weren't on Earth during Thanos time if they end up there in ancient time and then later on in modern time. Unless they left on space and came back. Uh, I don't know. And I've certainly got some thoughts on Marvel trailers. In fact, I'm going to use this as a segue. We have a bunch of other things on the side that we do. Here they all are. For some reason, one of them slightly not in sync. One of the ones is TikTok. Daz Reviews 1. Uh, why is that one out of sync? Oh, well. Go check that out, and you can see some Marvel trailer content. We are dissecting every Marvel trailer as it goes along for all the lies that are in it. Because Marvel... They trick you along the way. They're, you know, you know the big Infinity War one where Hulk running in Wakanda? Not real. Or the fact that Thor has two eyes in Ragnarok? They've been lying for a whole lot more things. I, in fact, I listed them all out recently. You know, there, are, there are 77 lies that I found. Or like, mentionable lies. And I'm like, wow, this is, this is impressive. Lies. It's mostly just to hide the spoilers, but it's like, oh, that's, that's something. Something I love about Marvel is how it can make something like magic feel much less generic. I'm interested in how they're going to spin Eternals on its head. Absolutely. One of them's literally Speedy Girl, so I hope they do something more with that, you know? Um, what is... Oh, yeah, Quicksilver is the MCU equivalent. I hope they do something different from Quicksilver. Everyone else, I don't even... can't even tell their powers, you know? She has a... the Jody. Is that her name even Jody? Oh, no. Joe. No, Johansson is Black Widow. Man, I'm so bad at this. She's just got light sword either way, you know? That's not impressive. We'll see how it does. I'm worried they're just going to make the fast girl not be there for a big part of the story like Quicksilver because speed is pretty much overpowered in a lot of situations. Maybe. I kind of wish that, as much as it's already been done from another part, I wish they did speed more like X-Men. I like the slow-mo. I really dislike that Quicksilver, you just watch him s speed around. Again, here, you just see her slish onto, onto the side, you know? And even then, technically, Doctor Strange can do that when he's, like, reading and looking at freaking three million timelines, you know? It's not impressive to look at. It's like, wow, I can press the time-lapse button too. So I'm interested to see if they do more with their powers. Like, I can see on this screen, there's ten of them. I hope that's dynamic, because this could be really boring, in all honesty. I don't mean to be a critic on, like, the first impressions. This is my second impression, though. I saw the teaser already. I'm more interested in Shang-Chi at the moment, where it's got the, like, spinny lady in the forest, or in, like, the field of flowers, and then, like, jumping around. That was my thoughts on Eternals. It was, uh... I'm just taking it at face value so far, because at the moment, it just looks not generic. It looks just MCU, with no connections to the MCU. I'm curious to see where it goes, because it's got that Wonder Woman vibe. But I wish it was more colourful. Why did they shoot this on like an overcast day? Why didn't they green screen it to be sunny, you know, with like lighting and the sunbeams between them all, you know? That would have been great. I don't know. We'll see how it does, I guess, on that front.